Hello everyone, welcome to A Space for the Unbound. This is a game I've been looking forward to for quite a bit. Um, it's a cool little puzzle game that it takes place in 90s rural Indonesia, which is quite the interesting setting. Um, it did give a little bit of a content warning at the beginning, saying that this game portrays uh, depression, anxiety, and thoughts of suicide. So we're probably going to be in for another sad time. But this game looked too cool for me to pass up. So... It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak, and the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Mew looks sick. Are Mew okay? The cat meowed. Princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye. To leave the world behind. Oh no. I have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something shone brightly in the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned in awe, but it cried too. Oh, meow, princess, please don't. I can't let Mew go, the cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles. You're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. Snap, I can't. Me neither. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugged the flower to itself. Oh, Princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? It was great. Your story was so touching, and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters, I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried, not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. <laughs> But that would be a brutal way to end the story, so I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent. It doesn't fit in at all. By the way, where'd you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really worried and upset. Cast my eyes to the sky for inspiration, and a comet flashes suddenly across the horizon, burning bright through the pitch dark night. Oh, jeez. I wish I was awake last night. Still, can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. You want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yes, it'll be more like an epilogue, but we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will, um... Yellow flower, they're about to, uh... Huh. Weird. Huh? What's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It's on the tip of my tongue. Hey, don't we go out? Why don't we go out and get some fresh air? May help clear your mind. Hmm, okay. Well, here we are. Here's our two main characters, as far as I understand. Um, it is so, so interesting to play a game. I always love playing games where it's based in uh, different regions so I can experience different cultures and stuff. That was one of the coolest things about, like, um, detention. Basically all the games made by, what was it, Red Candle Games? All the ones made by that uh, Taiwanese developer, Detention and stuff, because you get... You get exposed to all kinds of new cultural things and different folk stories and folklore and stuff that's really cool. Talk. None, 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 none. Talk. Like you said, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Alright, will do. Anything else for me to examine? Can I run or anything? Is this my default? Oh, I can. B. B runs. Look at that. Look at that power. Look at that power in that run. Beautiful. How about now? Feeling any better? Um... I don't know. What happened? You have rider's block? I don't know. I feel scary to think about. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I haven't been able to figure out what kind of story I'm gonna tell yet. Nope, it's Rider's Block, all right. Hey, maybe it's time to use the Magic Red Book. Magic Red what? Magic Red Book. Have you forgotten about it? 
book which contains the spell to dive into people's hearts and rid them of their inner turmoil. Oh yeah, the magic red book. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the thing that lets me dive into people's hearts and learn about their inner turmoil. Yeah, that magic red book. Of course. Yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? Um, I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry. So careless. Hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the magic red book. Might have left it around here. Keep your eye out for something red. Okay, I'm on it. Something red right here. What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says, double tap left or right to run. That's a tutorial. I wonder what game it's for. Oh, okay, so I don't even have to press B. I was pressing B to do this earlier, but you can just double tap to run. Okay, well that's much easier. Reminds me of playing a beat-em-up. Okay, so what's down here? This art is beautiful. God. I love indie games. Here's another thing that is red, although it doesn't look like a book. Hey, where are you going? Let me find the magic red book, will you? Well, if the magic red book allows us to dive into people's hearts and see their inner turmoil, I can absolutely see how this game is going to be rife with uh, depression, anxiety, and things of that nature. Um, there's the book, but what's down here? Where are you going? Let me find the magic red book. Okay, 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 fine. Here you go. Found a red book. This must be the magic red book. It must be. I see no other red books. Talk. Found the magic red book. Mine left it around here. Okay, I just want to see if you said anything different. Hey, is this what you're looking for? Magic red book. He found it. Come on then. Try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you... Can you help me? Bountiful, magical, mystical co-writer? Please, 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 please. Oh, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. Dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me. That's the power of the magic red book. And you just open the book, is that it? No dancing or chanting required? That's it. Hurry up and try it already. Alright, doing this to get rid of whatever it is you're scared of. And to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell. Alright, so this is our little tutorial on how this works. What an interesting idea, being able to dive into people like this. Okay. And then we go in people's minds and see what they're struggling with. This is going to be cool. Kind of reminds me of the idea behind, like, um... You know, uh, going into people's, uh, like, minds and hearts in, like, the Persona games. I'm scared. Too scared to think about the final chapter, about what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think, I've never finished anything before. Ah, so the fear is the fear of being finished. And people seeing people's reaction to your completed story. Just just the fear. Finishing things is a very legitimate fear. Um, just the idea that, well, when you're done, what what next? You know, what, what comes after? Basically, that unknown. It's final chapter. Will I ever be able to finish it? And just not knowing how to end things. Oh god, people laughing. So what do I got? Picked up a key. Wonder what it opens. Probably this. Mmm, you're scared of everyone. Freak! This is the stupidest thing I've ever read in my entire life. My one-year-old could write something better than this. Fantastical nonsense. This is a waste of ink and paper. Delusional! You so focused on your grades, little girl. She locked herself away to write this garbage? Oh my, what a mess. Poor thing. Ugh. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. And we get a piece of paper. I mean... When we... When, when, when anyone creates something, there's always an idea that 
everyone is going to to hate it and make fun of you. I mean, even even more so than that, I mean, a lot of people, even I've struggled with this before, that, like, everyone secretly hates me and is secretly annoyed by me, right? So I couldn't imagine, like, I, I know I say I couldn't imagine creating something and putting it out there. I make these videos, I suppose, but, I mean, like, you know, some something that really just pulls from the, like, essence of my being, me really expressing myself um, in art or something, and then putting that out there, it would be so hard, so hard for me to do. I would just think everyone would hate it, and everyone would think I was stupid as well. I have an idea. It could be useful. This is gonna get a lot of philosophical talk out of me, isn't it, this game? Well... That's cool. I do like me some talk. This story... I'm still afraid, but this... Should I... should I tell this story? Could I finish it? Yes, this is it! Whoa, just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. Feels like I'm walking in outer space, kind of like an out-of-body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space dive? Yeah, that sounds cool and informative. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space dive! So did the space dive actually help? Yeah, I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool, for real? Yeah, it's the big blue star. Big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It's call It called her. When the South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly. Oh wow, that sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Carrider's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Uh, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess's story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? If you say so. Well... Hooray! Hooray! To the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter! Anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, we need a spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yeah, in the end, the Star Princess and the Cat will explore the spaces together with the new spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? <laughs> I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you wouldn't find it. Across the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now, and look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with the magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... rocket fuel? Star Princess's magic wand, of course. But, I left it at home. Oh, well that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? No, I can't go there right now. My house is... not good right now. My father, he's... Uh-oh. Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand's in your room, right? I'll go get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. If someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries. I'm stealthy like a cat, you know. Sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. Help as much as I can, but... You have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. To get lost, my cat Bosk will always know where to go. Kitty! Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at base camp. It's not safe to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right, but the air's so nice and fresh here. Might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, and one last thing. You said that already, you know. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I, I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Aw, oh, none of you so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Alright, we gotta go get the magical... the magical girl wand. It's gonna be so cool to experience this. It, this is probably super, super cool to experience for people that have actually been or lived in rural Indonesia. Because there's probably so many references and things packed in here. 
um, from the developers. Hey, have you found the magic wand yet? The room's on the second floor and the magic wand's somewhere on the table. If you get lost, my get boss will always know where to go. Hey, kitty. Alright, let's go this way. Pet kitty? <gasps> I can pet the kitty! Yay, I pet the kitty. I love petting the kitty. Alright, through here. So Bosk is just my waypoint marker, for lack of a better term. You will just lead me exactly where to go. So you said your dad is what? You being worried about your dad makes me think he's like... Aggressive or possibly alcoholic or something. That's my that's what my thoughts initially turned to at least. So it is this way, Bosk. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Hello. Can I talk to you? No. There's a kitty to pet though. Kitty. No. Okay, can't talk to the construction worker. Ooh, another kitty. Oh, you know I'm petting all the cats. You already know I'm petting all the cats. Absolutely. Yeah. Alrighty. Across the bridge. Hello, friend. Hey, slow down, dude. Traffic's bad enough as it is. You want me to hit your fancy car, huh? Okay. Do you say anything else? I'm to find a job nowadays. I don't know what I'd do if this old bridge got knocked down. Ugh. Got two siblings to feed. Should I consider looking for a job abroad somewhere? Okay, so yeah, we can talk to you multiple times to get, um... to get different dialogue and stuff, so that's something to keep in mind. Sometimes we need to talk multiple times. Fresh fried simol, kimol? Hot and fresh, delicious kimol, come and get your kimol. I'm probably mispronouncing this and I apologize. Comet simol, comet kimol. Hmm. Maybe you should change the name to something more attention-grabbing. Come come on, come come on. Freshly fried come on, hot and fresh. I wonder what that is. I'll have a spoonful of that hot sauce. <laughs> Just one? Give me two spoons. I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? Hey, did you see that comment last night? Nope. My parents told me to go to bed. What, dude? You're such a mama's boy. Yeah, whatever. Don't mind doing what they say, but it's not really important. Makes it easier to get what I want at other times. Have a spoonful. Okay, now they're now they're repeating. I really like spicy things. Let's uh let's see what simol is. Why don't we? I can look it up uh, really quickly on my phone here. So simol. Aha. Okay, I found it. I found it. So simol is a street Indonesian snack. Snack. It's fried tapioca starch slash flour batter, usually served with salt and chili powder. Yeah, they look like little dumplings, basically. Huh? That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. It's always neat to see different cuisines and everything. Tool, to God, I love getting to experience other cultures and stuff. It's so cool. I love learning things. Behold, the great comet of Dune has torn up the sky. The stars are dying, the sky is falling. Disasters, diseases, floods and droughts are ra ravaging the land. Can't you see it? The mountains are trembling, ready to erupt at any time. Judgment day is coming, death is upon us. The omen has been fulfilled. The great prophecies of the millennium are coming full circle. Fear not, salvation is on the way. Join me and be among the chosen few who will be forgiven and survive this calamity. Yeah, we got a doomsayer. Oh, wandering soul, did you see last night's news? The Comet of Doom has finally come! Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million rupiah, you could own the spirit-infused gemstone made for meteorite. Oh, god. It's a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What? You don't believe me? How dare you? Shimstone was crafted by the the him the famous oracle Jaya, Jaya by himself. What? You haven't got any money? Well, I guess it's your destiny to be cursed then. Yeah, wow, that's a great message to preach. You can only not you can only survive the cataclysm if you have money. No money, no gemstone, no salvation. Yeah, yeah, screw you too. All right, I've been I've been around the block on indulgences and condolences and stuff from the Catholic Church and all that. 
religions choosing to rip people off. Where did that brat go? He still hasn't done his homework. Same thing? Kids these days are the worst. Back in my day, we had to do whatever our parents told us to do. Where did that brat go? Oh, we got one of the back in my day people. Back in my day! Having a smoke and listening to some music? What's up, dude? What do you think? Huh? Well, I'm sorry. About this, uh, Karakong beat. It's a mixtape I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh, yeah, cool. Totally awesome. Dude? I know, right? Not everybody appreciates Karen Kong, especially these days. It's an old music genre, brought over by the Colonials and perfected by us locals. Ah, interesting. The Colonials specifically brought it over, and then, in, and then the locals kind of took that in and changed it themselves. Soothing, you know? Perfect accompaniment for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You take my demo tape, my treat. Huh? Oh, n no, you don't have to. Please, dude. It's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow Karen Kong fan, music fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Uh, thank you very much, I guess. I received a Karen Kong cassette tape. I really understand Karen Kong music, though. I don't know, it sounded pretty nice. It sounded very, very cool. And we just got ourselves a mixtape. Awesome. Uh, examine or cassette? Yes, use my cassette on the ladder. The sign on this ladder. Ladder's property of the Civil Defense Department. Uh huh. Nothing happened. Yeah, of course it didn't. Today's news another interstellar comet was sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet spotted this week. Neither this, the government nor the National Space Agency have released an official statement regarding these peculiar events. Huh. Looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. What's this? Mystery report. A local woman was found unconscious after seeing the ghost of a female student. The ghost sighting occurred at Loka High School, which is known to be a haunted site. Hmm. Weather forecast. Heavy rain expected across the city. Don't forget your umbrella and be prepared for the possibility of flash floods. Hmm. Today's news. The Food Regulatory Agency encouraged citizens to be aware of street food containing dangerous ingredients. The dangerous ingredients mentioned are textile dyes, unclean rat meat, and corpse preservatives. Huh. Well, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. I wonder if that's true. This reminds me of the big case with that one kind of shampoo. I forgot exactly what kind of shampoo it was, but it got recalled because they found traces of formaldehyde in it. Alrighty. Today's news, another... Okay, so now now you're repeating. What happens if I use my cassette tape on you? Nothing. You don't want my mixtape? Guess I shouldn't try to give away that person's uh, mixtape. They were nice enough to give it to me, so... Or else should be on this block. Uh, somebody's here. Hello, Mrs. Dewey. Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. Uh, what's the matter? Is there something wrong? My daughter. At least she's been afraid of going to school. My husband. Well, things aren't going well with this boss. He's been a little stressed over. All over the money we've had to borrow to get Nirmala into school, and that's what's happening. Money troubles. He's taking it all out on Nirmala. Today she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Why is she scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to her about all this, but I really don't know what to say. Why don't we go to the meeting a little early, and we can talk about it on the way? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? So that's what's going on at home. They're gone. Now's my chance. So that's what's going on at home. Scared to go to school. There's a lot of reasons for that. You could be getting bullied. And sometimes, I mean... Sometimes school hits hard, and, you know, depression is real, especially for young kids, and sometimes it can be good just to have, like, 
mental health days? I wish mental health days for like work and stuff was more of a common thing. This must be your house. Hey, Bosk. Gate is locked. Your father's likely inside. It'd be dangerous to go through the front door. Maybe it'd be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her. I can't risk letting her father know that she's sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all too risky, but I have to get that magic wand for her. What should I do? Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. How am I supposed to reach the second floor? So, as expected, I wasn't totally sure, but it seems like you are younger than us. It specifically mentioned underage. And it said, you specifically mentioned he would think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage student. So I imagine you're in like middle school or something? But the way school systems work and the years and everything is different across all kinds of countries. So I'm not totally sure how old our main character is and how old the other character is, but evidently younger, so. Alrighty, I think that's a good spot to go ahead and end this first episode off. Oh my god, we have manual saves. Always thankful when we have manual saves in this so I can actually rotate. Phew, alright, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.